Hi there everyone, this is Arthur from Art Studio Lab, and I'm back with another video tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. Today, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw a vector hair in Illustrator, so that you will learn how to draw it on your own. If you want, you can follow my walkthrough, so that you will learn all the steps necessary for you to draw a vector hair. So begin by creating a new document in Adobe Illustrator. Because we're dealing in vectors, the size of this document doesn't matter too much, so you can go to View and choose Hide Artboards for you to have a nice large area to work with. Select an image of your choice and drop it into your Illustrator document. Or you can just go to File, choose Open, and then locate the image of your choice, and after that, drop it into the document. We need to make sure that the image will not move, so we need to lock it by going to Object, choose Lock, and lastly, choose Selection, or by using a shortcut key, which is Control or Command and then Number 2. Every time you need to create a vector shape, don't forget to add a new layer, so go to Layers panel and add a new layer. Now you need to begin tracing the whole base of the hair using pen tool. For you to create a curve using it, you need to begin clicking on the hair of the image to which you want to start tracing. Drag the mouse to the direction which corresponds to the base of the hair you are tracing, including its extra strands. When you reach the corner, press and hold the ALT key while clicking the last anchor point to make a new tracing curve. For you to see the image that you are tracing, hold down the CTRL or COMMAND key and click on the small eye icon. After tracing the hair, the next thing to do is to highlight some parts of it, making sure that we can create a detailed vector hair by making it mid-tone color, while the base color will remain in shadow color. We really need to make sure that every important strand of the hair will be highlighted in mid-tone to make the vector hair more realistic. You also need to target the most detailed part of the hair that needs to be highlighted by doing the highlighting using pen tool so that you will achieve the most detailed hair being highlighted.
After doing all these steps, the final result is a cool vector hair you have made using Adobe Illustrator. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial or learned anything new, be sure to give thumbs up to help recommend this video to others. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure that you've turned on your notifications so that you don't miss any of my upcoming tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.